Mike, Rachel hyper-connected. That is how one cybersecurity expert explains it to me today, and he says it's almost unavoidable. Businesses, schools, and governments, almost everything that happens in these organizations relying on a connected network. Technology has come here. It's here to stay. That technology helps make possible the world we expect. Way more efficient than they ever were. Things happen in, in minutes that used to happen in days. I mean, your pros are, you know, we're, we're, we're better today than we ever were even like five years ago. Uh, government has become more responsive. As the systems we rely on for business and government fall victim to cyber attacks, cybersecurity expert Arun Vishwanath says it also means there's a lot more that needs to be protected. One of the things that happened in you know the last 10 to 20 years is almost every backup for what we do online is something online. And unfortunately, this is a big problem. When an attack happens, it might be centrally located in one part of the network. But with time, it spreads and waits until activated. That's why, like with the city of Wichita, you see the overall network shut down. And especially during a ransomware attack, it's far from easy. Uh, systems are scrambled, log files are scrambled, and Often it's a matter of shutting things down as a preventative measure. Given all the information and systems on a network, it's often why a ransom is paid. A hack on a healthcare company, Change, Change Health, who paid $22 million rather than losing all that data and recreating everything on paper, which by now nobody knows how to do anymore. Cybersecurity experts say while there's no perfect security, it's important companies provide routine training and steps like multi-factor authentication. Bad guys are getting into systems through people, right? The weakest link is always a person. Cybersecurity experts tell me that a lot of these attacks start out as a, a phishing email scam, oftentimes using work email addresses found online. And when it comes to the cyber attack on the city of Wichita, experts are pointing to the LockBit ransomware group. Yesterday, the U.S. Justice Department announced a $10 million award for the Russian national who runs that group.